to do and hopefully it works and I can get through it the first time we are going to practice with some what's called warping in Pro Tools the other day we learned how to match beats using the uh, workspace browser um, but with the workspace browser we need to know that our loops are one measure two measures long and are exactly perfect we edit it um, what we're going to do now is manipulate a sample big time to make it match our tempo and our rhythmic feel so I'm going to start off just by jumping right into this new session and on the share drive there's a folder called audio one sample editing demo tracks and I want you to bring in G easy achievement uh, important reminder don't just add it because you cannot manipulate this audio while it's on the share uh, while it's on the share drive on the server please copy it so that it comes to your local session folder I'm gonna hit done hit open it's copying it to your audio files folder have it go to a new track The big thing with this uh, track, and many of you may know it, is that this old school sample is obviously pitched lower than what g -Eazy used it, and it's a different rhythmic pattern. If you listen to it here, you know. So one thing, we're, well, the way I'm going to do it, and I'm going to start. I'm going to ask you to do the same. I'm going to cut this two measure loop. I'm going to cut a two measure loop out of this section because the whole phrase is two measures long. You know. So I need to cut it right in between there. This is a perfect reminder that uh, if you're going to edit manually, you need to be in slip mode so you can get close up. But in grid mode, use tab to transients, this button, where it's illuminated, and hit the tab key on your keyboard, and it will jump you right to the next uh, transient spike or amplitude spike. So let's just listen if this loops well. You know. Pretty good. So I'm going to create a new stereo audio track. I'm going to move this down. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to match this original sample. We're going to match its tempo and its pitch, its rhythm, its rhythm structure, uh, and its pitch to the G Easy loop. You know. Right. seems like it might be hard to do but it really isn't so another thing we need to do is cut off cut off this section that's not used in the sample so um, I'm gonna teach you something else real quick uh, if you highlight this we know that it's two measures long right if you come up to event and click on identify beat um, note that my current tempo is 120. Where I've moved the clip, it starts on beat one of measure one. It's two measures long. So even though it's highlighted, it's saying, well, it goes into measure three. Well, if it's really only two measures long, what we want to know, we're telling Pro Tools, it is two measures long. It starts on beat one of measure one. It ends on beat one of measure three. We hit OK it changes our session tempo to exactly what this analyze clip is. So our session is now 87.9508, which is what this track is. So we need to get all these notes in this clip to match up here. And how we're going to do that is we're going to change, and I make 
make mistakes doing this all the time, so hopefully it goes well. We're going to change waveform view. Before we do that, we're going to turn on elastic audio. All right, and when you turn on elastic audio, you have four choices of um, the format or the algorithm used to, um, to do the elasticizing, the time compression and expansion. Polyphonics usually used for instruments that, or tracks that have uh, multiple notes on them, poly like uh, guitar chords or piano chords or things of that nature. Rhythmic works great for simple drum tracks. Monophonic would be fine for this or for a bass part if you were only trying to adjust timing. Um, monophonic doesn't give you the option of, of pitching later. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just use polyphonic. We're going to change waveform view to warp view. And what you're seeing here now is some analysis that was done uh, quickly. And these are all amplitude spikes. So for, you know, if we were using tab to transients, it would naturally take us to all of these different places. Okay, so for example, this is the second note in the G-Easy track, but our second note is over here. So watch what happens when I move my cursor over the equator, the midpoint line of this track. This gives me the ability to click and drag my audio so that things move around now. Um, if you double click on a line, this creates an anchor, meaning nothing to the left of the anchor will move. In fact, it kind of establishes like you're holding on to a rubber band and then whatever point you come to move, things stretch between this point and wherever you're moving it. So we need to get this note up here and all we're going to do is move it. You know. All right, so now this note is early. So I'm going to go ahead and put an anchor there. And I could probably choose to do that elsewhere. Maybe I should try as an experiment. You know. All right, and the reason I chose to do that is I didn't want to stretch this section that had very little audio information, feeling like maybe it would degrade uh, easier than if we stretch the whole thing. Not sure about that, but experimentation. No. All right, so now I need to move this up to here. So I'm going to anchor point this one. That was a mistake. I'm going to anchor point this. This one's early. This one here is late. And I believe that one needs to go over there. You know. Okay. So, in a way, we're done. Not really. Um, at least with the length of this, of it, we are. And I'm going to actually, there's, we could have probably made this match using some time compression, but I think this tail here is longer than it needs to be. And I am going to put a very, very short fade using slip mode, the smart tool and coming up to the corner here, just in case there was a click or something like it. So I want to put in a click track so that I can just listen to the rhythm of this clip now without the g -Eazy. It sounds pretty good. Now, it's not in pitch though. You know. So because Elastic Audio is on and we chose Polyphonic as the algorithm, we can come over to clip and to elastic properties and bring up 
the elastic properties window. We've already, you know, compressed it. And now we're going to pitch it. So I'm going to go up one semitone, which is essentially a whole note, a whole step on a piano. That does not sound right. Another one. Not quite, but an interesting harmony. Not, not it, and not an interesting harmony. You know. You know. And there we go. We have the perfectly matched both in rhythm and in pitch to this original. Let's listen to it by itself. Now, I'm interested, just because it did sound a little degraded. Oops, don't do that. I want to open this back up and compare the two. It's a little, it's a little funky. Okay, so from here, now I want to practice using the Workspace browser, and I want you guys to choose a drum beat to uh, put underneath this. So we're going to go over to Window and New Workspace, and navigate over, and actually you can do it this way. Navigate over to the share drive, to sample material, and loops. And let's search. Um, let's search for something. Let's search for some drums. Um, I'm going to type in the word beat. And I'm going to... Those are hits, so that's not going to help. All right, so you can see the ones that are actually. And I'm just going to find a beat. Not that one. Doesn't matter the tempo, except that the tempos do give you a sense of what the uh, genre or style of the beat might be. Hmm, maybe I should put in, just go for my classic. Okay, so this beat is at 90 BPM, and I don't think that's that's just not good enough as far as a demonstration to remind you how cool. this one. Don't forget, conform to session tempo, all right, which is this button or down here, audio files conform to session tempo. I'm going to drag this down into my session, make sure that it moves to beyond beat, duplicate it so it's as long as my sample. that's pretty much it. Here we have, uh, we have used some warping to both 
to fix the rhythm or adjust the rhythm of this sample. We used Elastic Audio to pitch it up five whole semitones. And we used the Workspace Browser to bring in a 95 BPM beat into an 87.9508 BPM session. And it all sounds tight. Thank you.